Hello fellas, so I'm making a video for a long time and this is the basic script of it. The title should explain it but this is yeah and this is all I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. Um, you go to this website, right? And then you press download and then you download the TCU launcher. I already downloaded it once so it's gonna be a second one but that's fine. So here you open this or I'll extract it first. <laughs> um, you can use anything to extract like okay so there we go and then you double click this oh yeah so this error is popping up this is something that you're gonna have a problem with even afterwards so you close this and then you go to this website tech power up yep over here and you press download here should be pretty straightforward not gonna take long okay so we just uh, run this it doesn't matter run and this basically installs everything you would ever need for any game you ever play from 2005 onwards for this C++ redistributable thing um, this is a problem you have in many softwares as well and this just saves you the hassle of having to do everything one by one and every time the error popping up I'm just gonna let this run and like fast forward everything And there you go, it should start up and then you press add new installation and you locate it to wherever you save the files that I showed you or oh, I haven't showed you guys. Um, well, that comes later. So you come and locate your files wherever that is which i forgot okay here we go um and then the crew.exe this is what we need and then open and then see it got patched and then you just press play but now i'm going to show you the next part of the status because i'm going to play this but afterwards so i'm going to show you next that um how to get the files because that is a big question and it's a uh, Basically, this is treated as abandonware. This term is uh, on the gray side of things. So I think I'm on the legal end of being able to use it uh, because the game has been discontinued and there is no way to get it or buy it or acquire it. And it's not fair that you can't play this game without being able to own it. This is one of the big, bigger things that gave rise to the whole stop killing games uh, movement. Like this game is the one that started it. So that's why being a game that I loved so much and I played so much of and also the fact that it has such a big story behind it, it inspired me to make something that helps the community out. All right. So with that out of the way, um, it Treat it as a disclaimer, if you will. Um, now you search for Abandonware, if I can spell, Abandonware Reddit. 
And there, here you see that there is already um, one link, but even if that's not the case, if you just go to this website and then, well, the crew is on top, but um, if you cannot find it, you can search for crew and there, there you see it. And this is the link you should can go to and use. Um, I personally downloaded it from here and it has worked very well for me or as I will show you guys that it works very well. So now I'm gonna press play. It takes a while to boot up. If you're confused if it is booting up or not, you can go into task manager and uh... Oh I forgot all about the exclusion! Okay guys, so one other thing that I forgot to do is um, I'm gonna troublesho uh, troubleshoot it for people who already have this problem as well. So let's say you got that issue that I just had. You go to home, virus protection, protection history, and then look at this. This is what it just got. And now you restore it. Okay? Um, I think it's done. Yep. All right, it's been restored. And then now you go to home, you go back to home, you press the virus and threat protection again, and you press. Uh, shit, I forgot. Yeah, that. Um, and then you add or remove exclusions. You add an exclusion, you press folder, you press your. Um, you locate it to the, your game files. So this, this is your game files, the crew. Select folder, now it is an exclusion. Exclusion. So um, we press play. So now you come here and check. There, you see the crew game. This is starting to go up. It'll uh, go up eventually and then the game will launch. You can see it uh, booting up its engines, as uh, one might say. And there is one other problem that you will have when you enter the game. But I'm just gonna show that it works and there are no errors, that's the first part. I just wanna get to the start screen because usually all the errors happen before the start screen because they disabled the servers, so you can go to the main menu. And there you go, we're on the main menu, and if you check your connection too, uh, I'm not gonna show it, my IP is there. Okay. Yep, it's open, so it's, it's working. Um, so now we switch back, and here, you go to sounds, right, or don't, you go to control panel, um, if you just press Windows slash R, you can run. And then you go to Hardware and Sound. And then you go to Sound. And then you go to Communications. And then you say, set this to do nothing. And then you apply. And you press OK. And that should be the fix of all your problems. And everything you might possibly ever need. Um, and the last thing is the Discord community. So, if I'm, yeah, okay, so from here, you can just, on this website, it's the, uh, yeah. So you can just press on Discord. And I made a dummy account for this. Just accept your invite. And you should be in their Discord. So one thing, if let's say you want to have, you have a bug that you need reporting, you can always report your bugs here. And any other problems that you might have will also be listed here, if you, there are any. Alright, 
So that's gonna be it for today. Um, I'm gonna try. I, I don't know if I will, but I might play the crew a bit um, on the channel. But I don't know who would be interested in that. I'll make videos about it though. That I can do. Yeah. Alright. See ya guys.